Hello. 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 Uh, yes, me and Susan are here again. Um, and it's this... assembled. Yeah. Yes, two of us assembled. <laughs> but, uh, today we're uh, entering the world of fantasy. Um, we're talking about a 1977 movie um, with stop motion done by Ray Harryhausen. Um, starring Patrick Wayne in the lead as Sinbad. We are talking Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. Um, got great memories of this movie because, um, when I was seven years old. I went to the cinema to see this one. Um, so it's a tale, of, it, it's its usual tale. Sinbad goes on a quest to, you know. To get help for someone, which I think in nearly every movie it's the same thing. Um, and you've got a supporting cast of uh, I don't know, Jane Seymour, Patrick Troughton, you know, um, do you name Taryn Power? Taryn Power, yes, a daughter of Tyrone Power, isn't it? Yep, and uh, father of uh, Julia Sawala, Nadim Sawala. Oh yes, he's there. Yeah, he's there. It's, uh, Patrick Wayne, of course. Julia like, Swallow, just so you know, she's really cool, man. And of course, Patrick. Patrick he's Wayne. absolutely fabulous. <laughs> and say, Patrick. Patrick Wayne's uh, got a famous father as well. Uh, we, we're not going to mention who because everybody knows who. <laughs> a bit of a giveaway in the name. Um, <clears throat> uh, directed by San Wanamaker, of course, another famous name in the. Uh, Entertainment industry, who's yeah. got a famous daughter? Yeah, uh, well, another another famous daughter. Yeah, famous, famous, famous siblings, and so yeah, this is uh, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. Um, and, not, and, and not the Eye of the Tiger, like 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 uh, like Rocky. Rocky. No, well, uh, this is what I want to, to say. I mean, the working title for this was Sinbad at the at the World's End. Yeah, that, that's that's valid. Uh, and then it was changed to the Eye of the Tiger. And um, for, can someone please explain to me why it's called the Eye of the Tiger? Do you know? I don't know. I... What well, it's like the, it's like the last 35, 35 frames of the movie are about a tiger. But what it's got nothing to do with the eye. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a tiger been... in it. I mean, I know what the I know the meaning of the the, the phrase "eye of the tag." I know the meaning of that, but to me, that has got nothing to do with this movie at all. Right. I mean, it would have been a lot better if they kept at simple at, at well oh, end. Yes, because um, right. that's where he went. Um, oh. But hey ho, I say a confusing title. So we'll go over to uh, Susan for our opening thoughts then on um, Simbad and. The strangely named Eye of the Tiger. I know, right? Um, so I don't have this uh, on on DVD. Um, I guess was, who does? Uh, guess who does? I, I assume that you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but I, I love Patrick Troughton. I love Michael Troughton. I love uh, uh, David Troughton, and I love I love Sam Troughton. And I just have to tell you that the the, the Troughton family is amazing, and I love Fraser Troughton Hines and stuff like that. But I'm for real, for to be honest here, um, this has got so many, so many people in it. It's it's more than just a Peter Troughton, mm -hmm. uh, Patrick Troughton, Troughton as thing. It's a it is it is about uh, Patrick Wayne as well. Patrick Wayne knocks it out of the park he does i mean yes he's shown up in love boat a lot at this time he's he's probably one of the one of the most most frequent love boaters at this at this time in the in in the, in the history of of the the world um you know 77 love boat just starting and patrick wayne is is a handsome young hollywood star and so of course he's on it a lot and so yeah, it's great. It's a, it, it. I love the Harryhausen stop motion of all all these all these crazy things like um. And uh, and I really um, 
And I also kind of like the way that it's sort of empowering towards towards the the daughter of the 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 daughter of the um of the caliph or the not the the the, the daughter anyway of the of the supernatural being that the the Patrick Troughton plays um of Melanthius. I love the the, the way that the that Patrick Wayne and and uh well that Sinbad and Dion or Dion um come together and and you know empower each other and empower themselves and try and and keep father you know coming along with them and hope, like they've got a chaperone all the time so i mean yeah it kind of it kind of fits and and the other thing that's really great about this is like how uh how tricky and fun zenobia is I mean, all of those little those little spells that she works, the one that makes her really small, the one that makes her into a a, a, a seagull. I mean, all those things are so fun. I mean, Zenobia is just is a really cool witch. Yeah. I mean, and 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 we don't often get really cool witches that that have that have you know such unique powers and that's what that's another thing that was really fun is going is going around through those and then uh and Kasim and like all like all the funny things about you know the fact that they turned him into a monkey I mean because poor, poor Kasim was spent the entire movie as a monkey so I mean like the baboon. that's a baboon yeah it's quite yeah. It was great. I mean, it was so fun, and uh, and he, all they wanted to do was just just get the crown down on his head, and boom, it all held Marcos, and he was not, not not able to become the caliph. And and the other thing that's really fun about these stories is that they're set in in the the Middle East slash uh, Middle to Far East kind of. Yeah, it's, a, like, it's the, from the uh, Tales of the Arabian Nights, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like Arabia. It's kind of like Iraq, Iran. It's got that whole Turkish feel. Um, the, I mean, there's just it's just all the way from like Turkey all the way into India because I mean, there's all these uh, like the 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 witchcraft and stuff. That's all. That's all kind of Indian mysticism more than uh, Muslim. I mean, there's not there's not a lot of Islamic stuff going on in these. It's more, it's more towards the far eastern mysticism. All the gods, the pantheon of India. That's what I'm trying to say, and it's fun and it's really exciting. And um, and Sinbad's a great character. Oh my gosh, he's a great character. Um, I love the fact that he's like, uh, that he's like, um, you know, challenged to. To do to do daring do for the hand of the girl, you know that's that's mm. that's just fun. And Patrick Troughton eats eats all the screen, all the scenery, all of the the every temple, every piece of he just munches on it. He's just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I really think he's absolutely fabulous. Just like just like Sawala, he's just like you know, that's oh, so, so good. I just. You know, I can't get enough of this. And um, the other thing that's really fun about this is like the 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 story is it's really uh, it's really kind of uh, it's kind of like Aladdin. It's like it's like that kind of Indian Arabian. It was it wasn't it wasn't about the. Oh, this is so cool. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that's those are my opening thoughts. I, I've run out of words to speak about them, so let me just pass it back over to Lee and say, okay, okay, man, what what do you think? What are your favorite moments and stuff about this? Um, it it was it's a good movie. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's. A very similar story to the previous movie, uh, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Oh, the one with 
Two is with Tom Baker in it. Tom Baker is the evil sorcerer. Uh huh. But now we've got an evil witch mm -hmm. uh, who transformed the prince. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm positive that the evil sorcerer in the last world we transformed. Was it the caliph or someone? So uh -huh. he had to wear he had to wear an iron mask. Uh huh. Uh, you know, um, <laughs> and also as well in this movie, you've got you've got the witch trying to find out information from Sinbad's ship, so she uses magic to get information by turning herself into a seagull. Mm -hmm. In the in the other movie, uh, the sorcerer creates an evil little flying creature to go spy on them. Uh huh. But I, I was watching. I think oh, God, it's a very similar story. <laughs> Have we have we reviewed Sinbad and the the, the book Golden yeah. Voyage of Sinbad? Okay, yeah, yeah. so so if you liked Golden Voyage of Sinbad, Lee, did 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 you like this one too? I do, I do like it, but okay. um, okay. I I tell you something. While I was watching this, I did notice one thing. Where was all the mythical beasts? Mm -hmm. You had you had a walrus. Mm -hmm. It's a baboon. Mm -hmm. uh, what else did we have? Um, tiger. The end. A tiger. Um, also a, a prehistoric man, a troglodyte. Uh huh. Uh, but no mythical creatures. Uh no. Uh. It, it was in other Simba movies. You had, you know, you had cyclopses and. Flying things, Shiva, Shiva yeah. with AR. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't you can't really call the Minotaur a mythical beast because that was just a creature created an automaton, um, played by Peter Mayhew. Oh, Chewbacca's in this, nice. <laughs> uh, so good. Got to have a Star Wars connection somewhere. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was watching. I was thinking, wow, for a Sinbad movie, a, fa a fantastical movie, you would ex you would expect some, you know, mythical creature, but not really in this one. Don't get me wrong, though. I mean, these stop motion fi figures, what they did create, was amazing. Yeah. Um, and also, it's great to see the. Um, the use of um, the treasury house of Petra. Oh my gosh, I know that was beautiful. I mean, that's been used in quite a few movies nowadays. I mean, I think the, when I was watching it, um, Indiana Last Jones came, came, yeah, came to mind. Uh, it's it's so that the front of that building in in the in the mountain, in the cliffs and whatever it is. It's so iconic, and everybody knows. You know, once you see, it, you know where it is. Yeah. Um, brilliant, brilliantly uh, shot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So similar, so similar story to a previous movie. Great, great stop mo motion action scenes. It must be really hard for the actors to uh, just wave a sword at nothing. Yeah. Look, you know, because do they really know where they're going to put the creep? Do they do they film the stop motion first, or do they film the actors first, and then I think they must film the actors first, then do the stop motion to match the actors. That that might that that's yeah, that's plausible. That's really yeah. really yeah. Uh, so time consuming. Oh my gosh! So that you've got to have a lot of lot of. Um, Love of what you do, yeah. You know, um, and I'd say it's about time we did have a modern day version of Sinbad. Yeah, Sinbad and uh, and uh, and any of the other like. I know, I know Batman about maybe, and all that. <laughs> no, about maybe ten years ago, we had an animated version. Uh, with, I think Brad Pitt voiced him, but no, not an animated, a live action. Sure. But with, with um, stop motion done. Or with, or with CGI, beautiful CGI creatures. No, but I'd I'd, lo I'd love to have 
up to date uh, stop motion are technology. You Lee, Lee, are you kidding me? The only one who was any good at those was uh, is is the person who does um, Wallace and Gromit, and then there's and then there's uh, then there was Harryhausen. I mean, there's just as there's so few experts at the the well stop motion. It's not even funny. Well, in that case, they better you know they better get their act together. And start doing it because I think it would be great to have a a, a a really modern day, put you know all money thrown at it, great sceneries, great actors, but, but and also up to date modern stop motion would be brilliant. Hmm. Not I mean, even even CGI would just be fantastic. Um, yeah, but sometimes you see the modern CGI in other up to date movies, and you think mm, it's not as good as the original. Oh, all right. With a stop motion. Oh boy, it's true. You're talking about the the, the next movie that we review, eh? Hey, 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 hey. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> um, yeah, it, I mean, this was the last Sinbad movie this uh, film company did. They did three. I know. So, Sad. Trying to think, oh, which what was the uh, oh Columbia. Um, I mean, it did all right at the box. So it cost about three million dollars to make, and it and it got grossed about twenty million. So it, you know, it got its money. The back. third one was called the Seventh Voyage. Uh, the third one was called the Eye of the Tiger. No, but the all right. The second one was called the Golden Voyage of Sinbad. And the first one was called. Oh. Was that called the Seventh Voyage? Seventh Voyage, yeah. Oh, soon bad, okay. And that was in 1958. Yeah, all right. And each time it was a different Sinbad. Yeah, that's true. That's not bad. Yeah, so any... Let's go to moments then, what made you I, think... I, I love I loved the, the... I loved it when they were... Um, when they were uh, transformed, when Zenobia was tr transformed down and then up, and then you know all of her magic moments, that those were really cool. Um, I I loved uh, I loved the baboon, uh, you know, the transformation of the 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 caliph son to the to into the baboon, and then. You know, especially right after he was on the throne, getting ready to be crowned. I mean, like, that was just like, it was so abrupt how she interrupted everything. And like, and and I did like the, I did like the troglodyte. I, I thought, I thought, like, I thought that they would call him a Neanderthal or something like that, Cro-Magnon at that point, because it was in the 70s. And they had words for the, for the ancient peoples. But they, they use that that even more, you know, backwards word the troglodyte. That was that was really interesting. And um the other thing that I liked was um I liked I liked the the fact that that uh Mel Melanthius was uh I, I loved I loved it how like Melanthius knew what he was doing, but then he didn't, but then he did, and then um but you know, while he was while he was played by Patrick Trotton, of course, why <laughs> while he was while he was uh trying to, you know, trying to fix what was wrong with the Kali, he he said, Yes, we're gonna have to travel to this this far known place and 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 he didn't know if he could make it, and so like that was fun. Is just having a character know that they were weak in a certain area. That that's great because you know that's part of that's part of why uh, these movies are so uh, these movies are so timeless. Is that that if a, if a character who is super powerful and supernatural actually shows a little bit of weakness that that's really cool mm. that that is a, that, that's really like that 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 tends to draw you into the story more 
and um and so you know the actor just eat the scenery all over the place and like and like and there was uh and the other uh and the other person that i'd like to mention is bernard k as 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 the the caliph's right hand man zabid and like that was fun because Bernard K or Bernard K is uh he's he's like he's like been in everything too. Oh, you you name you name any TV program in 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 the UK, he he was been in it, yeah. Everything, you know, everything. We know he, we we know he was in the Dalek invasion of Earth. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, he he was in he was in everything, and so like it was great, and like. Yeah, so I mean, what what an amazing movie to me. Um, I I I don't. It doesn't bother me that 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 it's very similar in many respects to the to the Golden Voyage. I, I you know, I just think that that uh, and I did I did like the fact that they were out on the sea. Uh, some I like that bit because. You know he's supposedly a sailor, and I, so when he's tramping around on, on dry, dry, dry land, it's not as exciting as when he's you know out on the open ocean. You know that's just that's just my theory on the subject, and dragging all these supernatural beings in the. So okay, so you, you may not have had the supernatural creatures, but in Melanthius you had a supernatural being. Okay, you had you had the the wise oracle, like it's like taking the 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 person out of Delphi and and stuffing them in your pocket and taking them with you on a voyage. That's that's what you've got here in Melanthius, I think. Anyway, that's just my theory on the subject. Anyway, I really enjoyed uh, I really enjoyed the the also the empowerment of 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 the daughter of Dion and. And stuff, and then you know, like, uh, and then the caliphs, uh, and then the, the girl who the caliph wanted to marry, um, you know, she was, she was played by Jane Seymour. Hello, she was played by Jane Seymour, and Jane Seymour is a fantastic actress, and you know, Jane Seymour was in. Uh, Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, and that's really fun. And so I enjoyed I enjoyed that a lot. And then there's Kurt Christian as Rafi, and Kurt Christian is is quite uh, that Rafi was such a good character too. He was like a he was like a, a second in command of the of the army. And um, yeah, and so there, there, there were all these amazing uh, actors and stuff. And um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put this on just a second. Yeah. So uh, there is things I did find out though in this that you know the, the as you mentioned the troglodyte. Um, stop motion apparently they uh, reused that figure in a, in in another harry Housen movie oh no no really Whoa. apparently they cannibalized it and in 1981 they used it in a, another movie called uh, clash of the titans oh no so it's going to show up later what as um as the villain oh um but we will we will see that when we uh, review Clash of the Titans. Oh um, my gosh. Yeah, I, I, I did enjoy it. I mean, as you said, it's better. He's on he's on the ocean. He's a sailor, of course he is. But one of the scenes is where <laughs> the making sled, sled, sleds. Yeah. Uh, you know, so no, it's got to be smoother. It won't go through the snow. It won't go through. And one of the sailors said. I don't even know what snow is. 
Yeah, so you have got a good character with Zenobia, the, the witch. Um, gets a come up and so. I mean, she gets a come up and halfway through the movie when she didn't have enough potion to turn back from a seagull to a human. No. <laughs> so she had that funky leg. No, she has the seagull's leg. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, all in all, enjoyable um, little adventure. J- Jane Seymour in this, of course. Um, Playing, I would say Jane Seymour. Just, just playing like a, a femme fatale, which she does in most of her early movies. Oh, okay. Well, well live and let die. Huh? This one, Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger, um, Battlestar Galactica. Uh, okay. Uh, I can, you know. Um, same sort of character traits for Jane Seymour in her early days. Yeah. But, uh, you did mention Deem Swahala. Uh-huh. I know you've got big, big... Uh, yeah, I, I just love his daughter, Julia. Shoot, she's like... She she, she just makes the... the the she's like the, the the ultimate straight person for against against you know Patty and 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 uh, e, e, Eddie and in the Edie and the uh, absolutely fabulous. So anyway, go on. Mm. Mm. Um, and then say so you've got the final confrontation of of, of Zenobia and Sinbad, where she transfers herself into the frozen saber tooth tiger. Yeah. Uh, Poor old Trog. Yeah. He he cops it, trying to save them. He gets munched by that tiger, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. As, as, as I said at the beginning, I just don't understand the title of the movie. But, um, you know, when you're young, you think, oh, it's because of the saber tooth tiger. And I think, no, it's not. Huh. <laughs> it's a, there must be some more meaning behind it. I don't know. But, it's lost in the mist of time. No. Yep. Um, anything else you want to say? Um, I really, uh, I really don't have anything else to say. It's just, you know, yes, please, more Patrick Troughton in in in, in you know supernatural roles. I, I just got it. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I like this. I like the Omen. I like, um, I like all these other things that he's done. You know, yeah. It, I, it, it's a, it's a little more. It it gives him a little more oomph to play these things and to play like Robin Hood and stuff. Even though it was really good, but like this just gives him like latitude to do whatever he wants. And kind of like the way that he was given latitude to do whatever he wants with Doctor Who. Those <laughs> are those are fun things, you know. Those are super fun things, and and. Well, as you say, he wasn't very clever though in this, though, was he? No, he wasn't. Let let letting a a, a wasp or whatever, or mosquito or whatever, drink that potion. Yeah. <laughs> I just sat there watching it grow. And, he, and he's not not taking a big rolled up <laughs> rolled up thing and walking on it. No. No. Also, also, as well, there is another connection to the previous movie for, with this one. What's that? Uh, Kate Christian, who plays um, Rafi. Rafi, yeah. Zenobia's son. Yeah. In, was in the previous movie, Golden Voyage of Sinbad, as one of Sinbad's sailors. I didn't realise that, but that's cool to know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, so let's have a little review of this um, fantastical voyage for Sinbad. Um, so, what what would you uh, score it then? For me, it's just a ten out of ten. Like, there's this like I really love it, and and I I I think that the that the response to uh, to these movies was always like. Uh, it was either like I love them or I hate them because like I know people like that I was interested in watching Clash of the Titans with back in the day, and then like talking about these other ones that that were 
were uh you know released before it and stuff that I was like we should watch those and they're like no no I don't want to and like that was that was like the way like like kids were in in the in the middle of the 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 America continent you know and that's just ridiculous for me so for me it, it's a 10 out of 10 I I'm glad I I get to watch it again and again, and um, I enjoy Harryhausen so much. He's he's freaking awesome. Sorely missed. Um, Sorely missed. Yeah, totally. Um, for me, I enjoy it, but I do prefer the previous movie better. Um, also as well with the mythical. Supernatural beasts not yeah, really being in it. It takes something away from it. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong, as I said, that the, the giant walrus, the, the baboon, the troglodyte, and all like that. Um, amazing, amazing work. Uh, so I'm going to give this a nine. Oh, no. Okay. It's a nine. Just, it's a nine. It's just a simple, simple. But that's Seagull. still a great score. Never mind. Sorry about that. Nine, nine seagulls uh, feet out of uh, ten. <coughs> um, yeah, but I do prefer the Golden Voyage to this one. <coughs> um, All right, but it's still it's still an enjoyable movie. Yep. Um, so that is our little review of Sinbad and why on earth did they call it the Eye of the Tiger? Um, <laughs> if anybody knows the reason why, just because it was merely a catchy title, <laughs> no, let us know why they changed the title of it. Um, it well, it's a, it mostly did the trick because people are like, oh, Sinbad in the Eye of the Tiger, let's go to the, the cinema and watch this. Um, yeah, please leave a comment below let's messages let us know what you thought of the movie um what you thought of the um uh, patrick wayne's um acting abilities because uh, <laughs> some people aren't keen on that <laughs> well no but he, 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 i thought it was good he was all right yeah and you know being the, the son of the wayne of john well, uh, uh, <laughs> at least he didn't act like his well, dad yeah. Get off your troglodyte. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you like to join us in you know in this little merry camp of ours called Geeks Assembled, because we would like to have more people on. People have come, people have gone, people come back, people stay away. Hey ho. Um messages. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Insta, um, YouTube, of course. Just leave a little comment and uh, message at me or you know my name and whatever. Just try a private message or whatever. I'll leave a message under the video. I would like yeah. to be on your vidcasts. And 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 you gotta have it, um, like a camera, a microphone, be over eighteen, and and it's really really good if you get if you if you get Zoom because. The rest of the the rest of them are pretty glitchy, so just yeah. Zoom Zoom is a free app. Yeah, it's a it's it is a free app until you go premium. Yep. But, but don't worry about that because I pay the premium anyway, and it's used through man. So it's it, actually it's not it's not that dear actually, so it's quite cheap. Mm. So uh, yeah, that's you know you have to be eighteen plus, but um, yeah, if you've got a PC laptop tablet or even your mobile phone yep we've had people use the mobile phones before on casts yep. we just like to see you've got to have a camera because we like to you know see who we're talking to really i know if in the past few people didn't like to do that it was a bit a bit off-putting when you're speaking to a blank space that's quite and we don't uh even though we can't see really as well as we used to um, yeah, well, uh, it just makes everybody look more and more beautiful the, the older we get, you know. There are some older than others. Uh -huh. 
So, yeah, that, so that's us done for the uh, Sinbad in the Eye of the Tiger. I hope you've enjoyed our little cast. I um, hope you've seen the movie. Uh, if we've missed uh, something, what we, you know, in the discussion, leave a comment below, let us know, and we'll have a chat about it in the comments. Because, yep. you know, we, tr we, we do try and do these in, what, 20 minutes to half an hour. Sometimes we take a little bit longer. And sometimes you forget. So, oh, once once we stop the camera rolling, with oh, we've never met, we didn't mention so and so, we didn't mention this. We do have those 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 uh, moments that that we wish we were scripted, but we're not scripted. We're kind of free for scripted. No, no, we just we we what was it? What do you call it? We not free ball it. Free form. Free, free balls a different thing, isn't it? Oh my heavenly <laughs> days. Oh yeah. dear! Uh, <laughs> I, 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 would, I, I believe in wearing pants for for for, for podcasts. Oh my god! So until our next um, going commando cast, um, <laughs> be safe out there. Uh, enjoy, oh, yeah. enjoy, enjoy life. Enjoy what you do. Enjoy your movies. Enjoy your TV. Enjoy your audio dramas. Enjoy your music. Mm -hmm. Join us. Bye for now.